what we're seeing here is actually a superimposition of a number of GPS track logs that a number of people collected. Uh, in the central area, a lot of it was actually collected by bicycle couriers, and um, superimposed uh, as a proof of concept. And essentially, the, what was being demonstrated here is to say, see, if a lot of people go out and move, the, uh, move over the streetscape, going wherever they're going, and if enough of them do it over time, what will emerge is the shape of a map. And if you can collect that together in one place and capture the essence of what it is you're looking at, what you'll have is a set of bridge map data that you can use for all kinds of creative purposes. This is a map of the Dublin area with a black line on it whose purpose may not be clear. Um, was it last Bloomsday? I think it was. Last, it, coming, running up to, to last Bloomsday, one of the local mappers got to thinking about one of the random um, quotes in Ulysses. Speculate, the one that speculates whether it's possible to cross Dublin without passing a pub. Turns out it is. Here's how. Um, and that's one of the things that you can do if you own, not own, but if you have access to the map data. You cannot do that with a Google map because you aren't going to have a, a data set which tells you the coordinates of all the pubs, nor indeed will you have a data set that tells you the line of all the roads that you can follow so that you can compute a route. What we want to do is to enable people to we want to give people map data to use in useful and unexpected ways. That's, that's part of the mission statement. This is Haiti. Um, after, the, um, um, after the catastrophe there, the rescue workers um, actually found that, well, on the one hand, there wasn't good map data. On the other hand, lots of what there was was now invalidated because roads had become impassable, buildings had fallen down. So, what happened was a number of the companies that shoot aerial imagery and sell it normally donated this to the community to allow it to be traced and literally the next a day after um, the OSM mappers updating the map based on what they could see, our maps were getting themselves onto the navigation devices that the rescuers were using to show them essentially where